Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at your best hitch options for your 2019 Hyundai Ionic. We're going to have two different hitch options to pick from. Up here we're going to have the Kurt, and down here we're going to have the draw type. If I had to personally choose one for my Hyundai, I personally think I would go with the Kurt. And for one main reason really, appearance. The appearance is going to be what really sets these two hitches apart. I think that the Kurt has a little advantage there. Uh, I kind of prefer the gloss black finish over the matte black finish. And one thing that really sets it apart is the reinforced collar. To me, I feel like the hitch just looks a little more put together over the draw tight, but in reality, that's his personal preference. And to give you an example today on our Ionic, we have the draw tight installed. And both the hitches are gonna sit more or less in the same position and be, for the most part, relatively hidden. This area back here is really the only thing you're going to be able to see on both of them. So as you can tell, the draw tight is going to be a little more streamlined, I guess. The Kurt, that collar, is going to look a little more put together, like I said. But whatever style you're going for, you're going to be able to choose between either one. But other than that, the hitches are going to be very, very similar. But the most important similarity is that they're both going to work great for hitch mounted accessories, especially bike racks. And that's what after talking to a lot of our Hyundai customers, that's what they're particularly interested in. Being able to have their bike rack on the back of their car as opposed to having to deal with a roof mounted system. Both hitches are going to be a class one. And so they're going to have that inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening and they're also going to have that half inch pinhole. Now, neither one is going to come with a hitch pin and clip, but if you need one, you can find it here at eTrailer. Safety chain openings are going to be loop style, give you a good amount of room to use just about any size hook. And same thing with the draw tight. Again, the half inch pinhole and very similar safety chain openings. They're also gonna share the same weight capacity. As far as the maximum gross tongue weight rating goes, it's going to be 200 pounds. So that's gonna be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. So that'll work good for those one and two bike racks. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, it's gonna be 2,000 pounds. So that's gonna be the amount of weight pulling on the hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. Now I do like to point out, it is always a good idea to check with your vehicle's owner's manual to make sure your Hyundai can pull that much weight. Both hitches are pretty much going to be installed the exact same way. They're going to share those same attachment points and they're also going to require just a little bit of trimming of an underbody panel. But honestly, it's a really simple install, not a whole lot to it and shouldn't take you a whole lot of time. So overall, each hitch is going to be a good choice to carry accessories on the back of your Ionic. It's really just going to come down to your taste as far as the appearance goes. And that'll finish up our look of our best hitch options for your Hyundai Ionic. I hope you find this information useful and it helps you pick out which hitch is going to work best for your Hyundai.